Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on Effects Friday. Everyone's second favorite day of the week, right behind Brandon's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going over a really cool effect, and I'm excited to show you guys this because I'm releasing a music video tomorrow that will utilize this effect uh, in a little bit of its uh, entirety, so just check it out. Look how cool that looks, guys. It's just it going right by the camera, and it's in 3D space. That's what we're going over today, guys. 3D motion tracking. It's actually extremely easy in After Effects CS6. And uh, the reason why I have CX6 now is because uh, my computer pooped last week. If you guys didn't notice uh, that I didn't make a tutorial last week, because my computer took a massive dump. And uh, I'm very sorry about that, but uh, when I was upgrading my computer back to uh, normal basically decided to spend the money and finally get the new After Effects and for you trolls that are like oh why don't you get it before it's been out for months shut up I haven't had the money so suck my nipples alright wasn't my fault I didn't have the money not all of us are rich like you internet troll okay <laughs> so what's cool about this tutorial today guys is that there will be a link in the, in the description for all of this footage that Brandon and I captured um and I put it both 720p and this one's 1080p for each clip. There's three each. So, I mean, really, you guys can do this. And um, I'm including a project file, too. So, I mean, really, guys, you guys can do this right here, right now. Just follow along if you guys want. Or uh, or you guys can just have some fun and experience it for yourself. So, let's uh, open up After Effects. And check this out, guys. While After Effects is opening... Basically, the clips that we we shot was all thanks to Brandon. So be sure to thank him on Tutorial Tuesday because uh, he was my he drove the car for this one while I was hanging out the back. Um, he stood there for this and he stood there for this one. So just be a, just go go thank Brandon or put in the comments, Brandon, you rock. We love you, man, or anything because it was really nice of him to help me out. So yeah, let's just drag and drop this into this blank canvas area, and let's drag and drop it into here. And now we can get to the 3D motion tracking. But before I do, you guys thought I'd forget? Nope. Please like the video, guys, for all our hard work. I mean, check us out. All these video clips and stuff. Just please like the video. It helps us out so much, and we love you guys for doing that. So, yeah, let's get to the tutorial now, now that I'm done embarrassing myself. Go over to the effects and presets, and let's type out tracker. Now, click and drag it onto this footage. And basically, it's going to do all the work for you which is just awesome and I don't know how they did this or whatever how they could afford to do it because you used to have to use something like Mocha to do this but now it's in After Effects CS6 unfortunately it's only After Effects CS6 you, you're gonna need Mocha if you only have CS5 or something but wow guys this is amazing this is I'm just touching on this there's a ton of new features in After Effects CS6 that I'm gonna show you guys because I think they, they they upgraded tremendously in this one. So, yeah, while it's going, um, it was pretty quick, you know. This step's really easy. It basically does one step of analyzing and then it does one step of, like, putting in the the dots or something. I don't, I don't know exactly what it does. I'm not a magician. I don't know what they did. But, yeah, you see all these dots? That's basically where you guys can put in uh, something into the 3D space, which is just awesome. That's my car, by the way. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> So let's go forward and just like the example, these are the points I took in the example and basically if you want to select, like normally you can just put it in between, you need at least three points to create a 3D spot. So let's zoom in over here. Let's say I wanted to put something in that 3D space right there. If I click and drag around those points it will select them and then I can put my mouse in between them right click and then I can create a new text and camera you have all these options to do so I'm basically gonna do that but I'm gonna select all these points to get a very accurate reading of the road and now I basically have a plane that I can plant a, like anything I want so let's right click it and let's go create a new shadow catcher camera and light that's the first step because uh, that just makes everything that will set up the next thing that we want to create which is a text and it basically just planted that 3D text in space. Check that out, guys. It's already planted perfectly in there. And let's uh, let's trim this real quick just so you guys can see. 
I'm just going to hit the zero key just so you guys can see it is perfectly planted onto the ground, which is an enormous time saver. And this isn't like just tracking in 2D space, guys. This is way more accurate than the old way of doing uh, the tracking points and stuff. So, yeah, now let's mess with, with this text to get it the way that we want it. So first, let's uh, go to this drop-down menu, go down to the Transform Options, and let's go to the Scale and just put it down to about 100 right now. And then we can scale it up a bit because it was at 2,000. That's just large. You know, you know me. I don't always like large things. <laughs> wow, that sounded so freaking gay. Okay, go to... Uh, we're, we're just going to put the all these down to zero real quick just so we can get a we can start clean alright so now we have this upright text you see that and it's it's planted perfectly in 3d space which is awesome but um we're gonna mess with this a little bit more in a little bit but first well second really let's go down to this light and uh, let's select it and then go to where this it says active camera let's click on it and go down to custom view one now with the scroll wheel I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna find the light which is over here and I'm just gonna drag it behind the text like if you look over here this is the shadow catcher we made this is the camera that's the text now I'm gonna click and drag the light behind um, the text that we created then I'm gonna switch back to the active camera I'm gonna zoom out a bit because I have to find the light where, where oh it is it's right behind it wow that was uh, that worked out a lot better normally it puts the light under for some reason when I drag it so I have to find it down here and then go on the Y axis and pick it up. Like I'll, I'll explain that right now. Check it out. You see you have these axes. This just moves it in Z space. That's forward and backward. That, that, that could light our picture, but we're using this to cast the shadows on the ground right now. So this is to move it up and down. See that? That's why I was talking about the Y axis. And then this moves it left and right. But let's leave it a little bit to the left because that looks like where the sun is coming from. And let's go a little bit more forward to find out exactly where we want to put these shadows. Just make them where you think they will look the best. And let's move it up a little bit to shrink down that. That looks really good to me. So, yeah, that I'm going to keep it right there. So now I'm going to double click the light and then I'm going to just mess with the shadows a bit. I'm going to put down the darkness a bit because shadows are not pitch black. I don't know where you heard that from, little internet troll, but they are not pitch black in Eli's world, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to move this up to about maybe 20. Uh, that, that's a little too much for me, so really I'm going to, I'm going to move it down to about 15. That looks better. And uh, yeah, so now we have our shadows set up, but if you can't tell, it looks like there's a little, little space in between this. Which, uh, for you guys, you guys might not care, but for me, I'm kind of a perfectionist at times. And that just uh, annoys me a bit. So I'm actually going to move it a bit until I get it more lined up. And it's looking a bit better. Yeah, that looks a lot better at 12. And now, check it out, guys. It is in 3D space. And it is just looking excellent. I'm going to hit 0 to let it pre-render real quick. And it is looking amazing. Look at that. I mean, with barely any work at all, we got something looking amazing. I'm just astounded by this effect, guys, and how easy it is, and us including all this free stuff that you guys can download from Media Fire. It's just, it's just insane. We're just the best, right? <laughs> just kidding. All right, so let's slide up the text a little bit more. Let's uh, right click in this blank area, go new. Oh wow, fail. Right click, new, light. All right, and we're going to put down the intensity a bit, maybe 95. We don't want it to cast shadows because this is going to light our text up. So we have to find it. Let's go into the uh, custom view one. And is that it way over there? Wow. Okay, let's move it in front of the text. See that? I'm moving it right in front of the text. Now we're going to go back to the active camera. And now, look at that. See see what I was talking about? You can either just click it on the Y-axis and bring it up, or you can do what I just did and just click and drag it over here. And to get it to look like how I did it in the uh, original 
thing. I went into Z space and I took it back a little bit and I put it right about there where it's just lighting this top part and then the the rest of it gets kind of dark. But it creates a cool kind of uh, mystique look in my opinion. Like it looks really cool. And by the way, the text I'm using, it just automatically goes to it now. But uh, if you don't have this text or you want it, just type in big noodle titling in Google and you can get it for free. And that's the text I'm using because I think it looks really cool. And I'm actually going to make the scale a little bit bigger because, you know, I'm, I don't like my things that small. Okay. Gosh, man, it sounds so gay. I'm not gay, I swear. Okay. I had a girlfriend for four years of my life. I'm not gay. Unless I'm playing Xbox Live and I gay to you on there. That's for fun, and normally I record it because it's hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, okay. Enough talking. Check it out, guys. Just wow. Few minutes of work, and it already looks amazing. Now, I'm going to touch on one last thing before I let you guys go, because this is, uh, it's pretty much done. What you guys saw in the, um, the, the thing I made in the intro and stuff was it was a little bit 3D, and that's because there's something new in After Effects called ray trace 3d so if you go up to this uh, classic 3d logo right here you click on it and then you go to the render you can go to ray trace 3d and if you're going to go to this and your computer isn't that good I recommend keeping it at one like you can click and drag this you never need to go above four four is great quality that's what I rendered the original at and stuff but it's very hard on your computer and it takes about an hour to render a five second video so Keep it at one just while you're editing or else it's going to just tear up your CPU and stuff like that. So now that we have uh, it in Ray Trace 3D, check it out, guys. Check how cool this can get once uh, my computer's done thinking. I don't know why. It's been running slow. Maybe I should have restarted my computer before I did this, but it's whatever. You guys are uh, you guys don't hate me too much for this, but I'm actually going to put this down from full. I'm going to put it to like half. If it'll let me, what is it doing? Wow. Okay, half. Stupid computer. Thought you're supposed to be beastly. You make me look like a liar here. All right, let's zoom in. Let's go to the text and then uh, double click on that because I was just messing with the scale. Go to the transform options. Let's minimize those. And now, check it out. You have two new options in here, guys. We have geometry options and material options. I'm just going to touch on geometry options in this tutorial because there are so many material options and since I'm providing this footage you guys can mess with those and maybe I'll make a tutorial more in depth on the material options and st such in another tutorial but in this one I'm trying to keep it a little short because you guys hate when I go long tutorials it's weird. So I'm just going to move this extrusion depth to one because that's what I had in the uh, the other tutorial and it just makes a really nice small edge and it just looks so good I love it so much and there I just love I left the bevel or bevel whatever it is at 2 and I left the whole depth at 100 so that's all I messed with in the original thing and check it out it made a nice 3d text that doesn't look good right now but now when I go to render it I'm just going to show you guys this real quick, like how nice it looks. Look how just, oh my goodness, it sticks there. It's just amazing. Cannot believe they did this in After Effects. But yeah, so now before I go and let, let's say I'm done. So let's uh, let's make this comp all the way out like this. Now, before I render it, you, you're going to want to put the ray trace back up to 4 or else you're going to get some pretty crappy results. So go to ray trace quality and we're going to move it up to 4 and I'm gonna hit OK and hit OK again and now it's gonna take a little longer to load each frame but when it loads each frame here I'm gonna go forward just so you guys can see how nice it looks and this is why it takes so long so I'm just gonna click over here real quick I'm gonna hit the tilde key and that'll just make it uh, you know full screen so let's see it That, that actually doesn't... Oh, that's because I'm at half. My bad. I was like, why doesn't that look good? <laughs> Failure. Alright, so we'll go full. I'm going to let it load real quick. Now check it out. It should be smooth as a baby's bottom. 
my computer will run a little faster. I don't know why it's running slow right now. That is so strange. I swear on my future baby's wife and kids that my computer is a lot faster than this. All right. So check it out, guys. That's how every frame is going to look, and it'll look amazing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how this is, and I already know you guys are going to ask a lot of questions when I release the new music video tomorrow because uh, it's going to have some cool effects in it, but this is how I did it. Very easy. Don't be too impressed. We're not we're not gods or anything. I mean, we're we're pretty good at what we do, but... It's all, when it's broken down, it's very simple, and you guys can do the same thing we're doing. So, believe in yourselves. Okay, I love you, Brandon loves you, and eventually, your parents will love you, given time. Alright, I can't help you too much with that one. But yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And uh, just to tell you guys, in, in CS6, the rendering's a little different. Instead of just going to make movie, you have to, uh, well, I have to select the, the composition still. Then go to composition and now you have to go add to render queue see so I mean it's it's just a little bit different uh, other than that you guys can watch my rendering video on how I get really good quality in After Effects but yeah I'm just gonna well I, I don't think I'm gonna render this out because I already rendered one it takes about an hour so screw that <laughs> but that's the price you pay for good looking footage so yeah thanks for watching this guys um, we'll see you guys next Friday and you'll see Brandon on Tuesday, I believe. Is that is that when he makes tutorials? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, Tutorial Tuesday or something like that. I don't remember. But <laughs> but yeah, and you guys can uh, keep in touch with us. Every day we're releasing new videos, which I, I'm loving it. We're having a lot more fun on the channel now. And if you guys don't like what we're doing, screw you. Alright? Because we don't give a crap. It's our channel. We can do what we want. So yeah, we'll see you guys every day or if you just like our tutorials every Tuesday and Friday. So yeah, See you guys later. Have a great day and a great weekend. Peace out.